Heading into her third Olympics, Miranda Ayim is looking to lead Canada to gold. But first, she has the distinction of carrying the flag in the opening ceremony. I feel so honored to represent Team Canada and lead Team Canada in these opening ceremonies alongside Nate. Hirayama! Nate is Nathan Hirayama. The 33-year-old from Richmond, B.C. is a mainstay on Canada's men's rugby seven squad. For the first time, Canada will have two athletes from different sports as flag bearers. Definitely very surprised, but uh, just uh, I think my biggest reaction is just very honoured. This year, they'll walk into a much different Olympic atmosphere. Because of the pandemic, no fans are allowed into any of the venues. Despite strict protocols, there have already been a handful of athletes test positive in the village, but so far, Olympic officials aren't sounding the alarm. The numbers we're seeing are actually extremely low. They're probably lower than we expected to see, if anything. Given the uncertainty, it's not clear how many Canadians will actually march in the opening ceremony. We have, have left attendance um, up to the teams, and so the teams are making their own decision. It's a tremendous rush. It's like being carried by a wave. Bruce Kidd knows what these athletes will be missing. He competed as a distance runner for Canada in the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. While he says the lack of fans is a loss, a year of competing during the pandemic has prepared these athletes. They've been through a lot, and I would say psychologically they're ready for whatever happens. Both Ayim and Hirayama say they trust the protocols put in place. I feel very safe and um, know that we're going into um, a, a good environment. And they say, after the trials of the last year, that the games are happening at all is special. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.